Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got a heck of a deal I'm gonna show you today. I'd like to buy a $100,000 motorhome for 79.9. In the current market, that's almost impossible. But here it is, guys. Today, we're gonna to review a beautiful Class A diesel motorhome. This is a 2006 Holiday Rambler Scepter. Model is a 40 PDQ. It has four slides. Roadmaster RR8S chassis. It's got a 400 horsepower ISL Cummins diesel with 1,300 pound-feet of torque, uh, 10,000 pound tow capacity, six-speed Allison 3000 transmission, air brakes, air suspension, the full shebang. Just drove it 800 miles here, guys. It did great. Got a big one-piece windshield, full body paint. This thing brand new was almost $300,000 in 2006 prices. And you know, today you're looking at almost double that in a 2022, the equivalent of this. And guys, this is a beautiful RV. It's got 70,000 miles on it, which not bad at all for a 16 year old motorhome. Now guys, it's got a couple little issues I'm gonna let you be aware of. Um, I was going to fix those issues and price it for $89.9, but guys, I'm going to sell it. What you see is what you get, $79.9, and of course, we'll guarantee the generator, refrigerator, roof air conditioners, and slide outs to work, which all those work great. I uh, got the alloy wheels, and I'll show you more about the issues on the inside. Outside is fine. Um, Motor's running right now. It's got an 8KW Onan diesel generator running right now. Alcoa wheels, tires look great. Very well made, guys. It's got a nine layer roof system with a uh, gel coat fiberglass crowned roof. It's got a patio awning. It's got slide toppers. It's got the power roof mount awning. Corners aren't beat up. You can tell this thing's you got a couple little scrapes on it, but all in all, guys, I mean, it's immaculate condition for an 06 as far as the exterior. Side-mounted radiator, 10-gallon DSI gas electric water heater. It's got washer dryer. It's got the works, guys. Hydraulic leveling jacks, of course. Generator's running right now, powering everything up inside. Uh, motors running. Five layers uh, sidewall, five layer floor construction, multi stage full body paint. I mean, this is one of the year, their best models in 2006 was a Scepter. Wasn't the top of the line, but it was very close. Let's look inside and show you the beautiful coach inside now guys we did install new carpet in here you know after 16 years obviously it needed new carpet um so that's a couple thousand dollars or a thousand dollars or better you're not going to have to spend on one and look at this beautiful rv Look how open it is. You've got two sets of opposing slides. It's got a king bed in the back. Padded headliner. Everything just looks great, guys. And I'm gonna show you a couple of issues with it, and that's why we're pricing it for $79.9. Now, get on RV Trader, get on NADA. Um, look up what these things are bringing. I got the lowest one in the country by tens of thousands of dollars. And, um, You'll look up NADA. No added options. $98,000 and $81,000 low book. Now, the reason why I'm selling it for $79.9, it's got a perfectly clean title. It doesn't have any accident history, none of that nonsense. But there's a couple of lights on the dash. And right now, you know, I was going to fix these issues, even though it probably cost me a little bit of money, and sell this thing for a lot more profit. But 
right now guys all the diesel shops in this area are six to eight weeks out and i got to thinking all right if i wait and advertise this thing six to eight weeks from now then it's going to spend another two or three weeks at the shop waiting on parts getting fixed and all that it's going to be winter time so instead of doing that trying to hold out trying to sell it for a little bit more money we're going to sell it for 79.9 which is a bargain and we're just going to sell as far as the lights are concerned as is and here's what it is guys you have an abs light which is very very common on used motorhomes when these things sit for such long periods of time a lot of times you can take the sensor apart clean it out put it back on it's fine sometimes you got to replace it it could be other things too and it's got an atc light on automatic traction control light as well as a fuel gauge does not function so that could be a sending unit that could be a ground wire off somewhere it could be a number of things and none of this will stop you from using it because here's the thing guys if your generator cranks up and runs you've got at least an, uh, a quarter of a tank of fuel in your rv we drove it 800 miles just like it did and, and they ran and raved how good this thing drove but i'm selling it with those issues for that price and i, I may turn a lot of y'all off i'm sorry but i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place i can either throw this thing on the back lot until the until one of the diesel shops has an opening two months from now and then take it over there wait another month for it to get finished bring it out here just in time for christmas or um, i can sell it now or people can still use it while we still have plenty of camping season left you can still use it just like it is or, or if you know somebody that's in your family that's a diesel mechanic you might get them to fix it or you know or you might fix it yourself if you're handy or you, if you're you may not worry about it you know I'm, I'm pretty sure the previous owners probably used this thing for a while just like it sits i can't imagine uh any of that stopping you from using the rv but i'm just letting you be aware of it guys i try to be as transparent as possible i couldn't turn this deal down this is a heck of a deal even with those check engine lights i mean when anytime you can buy something um in good condition for 20 grand under average retail with no added add-ons you know everybody else always adds you know ten thousand dollars worth of options to their nada this that's just base nada average retail ninety eight thousand dollars you look on rv trader that's about what they're going for and some of them are over a hundred thousand and um you be the own judge guys this thing will probably sell in a few days. And I'm being completely honest with you because I don't want nobody to come up here and go, well, what about those lights? Oh my gosh, is it going to blow up? No, guys. <laughs> People get so over dramatic about stuff. Now, of course, if you go to a state that has inspections, you may have to get that fixed. But I think the price, more. I can't imagine spending more than a couple of grand fixing all that stuff, two or $3,000. And the price more than makes up for it because I could just as easily ask 89.9 for this coach of 79.9. So you're saving enough money to make it well worth your while. Um, so for those of you who want one that's just turnkey ready, this that might bother you, but it might not. But we'll go back to the video tour. You know, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, the rest of this coach is beautiful, guys. It's got dual opposing, it's got opposing sofas. Uh, this one is a sleeper sofa, this one is not. You can still sleep one person on it. It's got a drawer that comes out the bottom, ceramic tile floor. It's got the Aladdin system. Um, it's got the uh, table and chairs, beautiful solid wood cabinets. I mean, these are high-end cabinets, guys. You've got uh, air conditioner's got a little ring to it, but it works. Um, you've got crown molding everywhere. You've got a 14 cubic foot Dometic RV side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer that's getting cold right now solid surface countertops no cracks anywhere ceramic backsplash everything in here besides a carpets factory microwave convection oven and plus a actual propane oven too plenty of lighting throughout the rv total length is 40 feet 7 inches by the way let's go toward the back in the back you got a large walkthrough bathroom I didn't even open the shower door yet. Shower looks great. This thing's obviously been kept under cover because there's no yellowing in here, which is caused by UV rays coming to the skylight over the years. We'll turn this white shower a bright yellow. 
Corian countertops in here with a little bit of backsplash. I don't see any signs of water damage anywhere. I see no sagging headliner. It does have the washer and dryer combo. You do have a water closet with a second vanity. And um, of course you've got an elongated China RV toilet. That's probably a $800 toilet right there if you had to replace it. And everything looks good in here. You got a fantastic vent fans. One in here, the one in the in the bathroom. You got a cozy rear bedroom. I do have to fix this one blind right here, which I'm gonna have done. Don't worry about that. Um, it does have a king size bed. Big closet. Got a small TV right here. Sorry, I got that blind closed. It makes it a little darker in here, but safe with a key in it so lock up your valuables nice closet you can see my carpet guys did the normal fantastic job and, and they put the carpet everywhere headboard got a stereo over there in the corner got a solid sliding door for privacy to shut off the bedroom for the rest of the rv It's a nice one, guys. Air conditioners are cold. Slides work great. I mean, as far as our checkout, it's ready to go. You know, we do a basic inspection on it. Um, and everything we guarantee on that basic inspection works. But you're welcome to come here, do your own inspection. Let us know. We'll plug it into power. Run the generator. Let you do your own thing on it and test drive it. Uh, we only do test drives Monday through Friday. No Saturday test drives, and of course we're closed on Sundays for Lord's Day and Family Day for our employees. So uh, you will make please make your plans accordingly. But guys, this this is a nice rig, and yeah, I know those check engine lights, that fuel gauge may throw some of y'all off, but that's something that can be fixed if you've got the time to fix it, and something that can be used just like it is if you don't have time to fix it and fix it fix it in the off season. When you have it stored up, make you an appointment at your local diesel repair shop and, and get all that fixed while it's sitting at the house when you're not going to be using it. At least this way, you can still use it, get to use it some before it gets cold. Which hard to believe, but we're not that far off, guys. I mean, tomorrow, I think, is the first day of fall, so um, cold weather's not that far away. And this would be an opportunity to buy one now and use it instead of waiting and paying more for it around winter time when you usually don't use it. Which I know a lot of people do. I <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I mean, I winter camp myself. That's about the only time I really can go very often. Of course, now I live in northwest Georgia. So down here, you know, winter time, December, it's only 50 degrees out here. So. I mean, we only get maybe one or two little dustings of snow a year, if even that. And, um, you know, so our, our camping season down here is pretty much year-round if we want it to be. Um, I know other parts of the country don't have that problem. Of course, we, we make up for it in the summertime when it's humidity and 100 degrees out here. So, <laughs> trust me, we, everybody has to pay for it either in the summer or the winter of where they live. But... Um, yeah guys it's a nice unit if this is something you think you're interested in please pick up the phone give us a call 706-965-7929 get on your phone get on your tablet computer do some research guys look up what these things are bringing 06 holiday rambler scepter with 70,000 miles and um, uh, a 40 pdq look up nanada look up uh, rv trader rvt ebay wherever else you want to look at guys keep in mind our price is haggle free firm at 79.9 uh, we have no added fees besides applicable sales tax and, of course, Georgia residents. Unfortunately, you do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee. But we're not like Rip Off World and these other corporate RV dealerships that add thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to the advertised price in the form of dock fees, prep fees, processing fees, freight fees, uh, happy camper fees, and whatever name they come up with, guys. And, and they wouldn't fix those lights and stuff either. Uh, in fact, the ripoff world's well known on used RVs of, of pretty much just giving you the keys and selling it to you. Pretty much how it came in on trade or how they bought it. So um, at least we put carpet in it and we check the major stuff. Make sure it works. Inverter works too. I check that for you. 
uh, inverter works good both acs are cold uh, one or two lights in here are, are which I, I just got to find a switch for them one thing about monaco and holiday rambler is they put switches everywhere <laughs> for lights <laughs> it takes you forever to figure out what switch does what on these things but that's just the way they built them um <laughs> which i mean i like i like being able to just turn the lights on individually myself personally it's a lot less complicated but you know i know a lot of people it's got an 84 inch tall ceiling so not everybody can reach up there and turn lights on so of course that's why they have switches for pretty much almost every individual light in here <laughs> so uh but anyway guys um thank y'all for watching my video i appreciate it i uh, appreciate my 30,000 subscribers if you're not having to hit the subscribe button hit that subscribe button guys i tell it to you like it is these are used rvs are not new there's going to be issues with them that's why uh they're used uh you know it's a 16 year old used vehicle please don't come in here expecting it to be new that's why i try to show you everything i see that um you need to be aware of like those lights and that fuel gauge which normally we would fix guys but all the diesel shops around here are having the same labor shortage we are um and they're just so many weeks out on anything um it's pretty aggravating you know i don't mind a week or two wait but when they're telling me six to eight weeks and then possibly more um yeah i, I just can't tie up an rv that long waiting on something that so many people would buy it just like it is anyway because i know I've, I've i've seen a lot of customers over the years that would buy this thing no problem with those lights on as long as the price is right when you're 20 grand under nada average retail in the current market and a nice rv like this with new carpet yes the price is more than right uh this is a deal you can travel from anywhere in the country and buy and it's well worth the time trouble and expense to do it because of how much money you're saving off the price and i'm saving you thousands of dollars on fees that a lot of other dealers charge you um so anyway guys let me know what you think 706-965-7929 uh, is our phone number if you're interested in buying it let me know in the comments what you think about it uh feel free to share on social media feel free to subscribe to my channel again smash me a thumbs up as always um i've got some more diesels lined up to do I wanted to do this one because I couldn't believe the price for what it was. Um, even with those lights, this thing's a heck of a deal, guys. I mean, it's really, um, in the current market, probably one of the best deals this year on a diesel pusher that we've had. And um, and I, a year from now, we'll be kicking ourselves in the rear end wishing we could buy this thing back for what we sold it for today a year from now. Because a year from now, let's still tell them what this thing will be worth with the, the way the current market's going. Um, especially on diesel motorhomes because they're not getting work they're not getting better in availability they're getting worse I mean auction prices are through the roof still we've been to three different auctions we bought one RV and that probably had 2,000 uh, units run through those three auctions uh, I just I cannot pay those prices uh, literally guys even with the pro even with those lights and the fuel gauge on this I could probably run this thing through any dealer auction in the country. It'll bring 85 to 90 grand, maybe even closer to 100. Uh, depends on how many other diesels there are that day uh, going through the block. But then I've got to, you know, I could do that literally with everything I have out here. And, and, and most of them will bring just as much or more than I'm asking for them on the lot. But if I do that, guys, millions of dollars of commercial real estate will be sitting here empty. And I'll have... A bunch of employees out of a job even though I'd make more money in the short run in the long run guys I'm not gonna do that to the few to the employees that stuck with us through all this and I'm still gonna buy these things I'm going through unconventional means believe me to buy these things that the other dealers wouldn't do or can't won't think about they a lot of dealers if they can't buy them at auction they won't fool with it they don't fool with for sale by owners I do uh, I, I form relationships with a bunch of different car dealerships anytime somebody has an rv to trade on a new car they call us we put a buy figure on it they trade for it we buy it for that number i mean and, and this has took decades for us to get these connections guys we've been in business 53 years and that's why i have the inventory i have right now because i dealers 
call all the time. How do you get your inventory and sell it for those prices? And I tell them it's a secret. If I told you, then then you'd be doing the same thing. And, uh, um, you know, and believe me, I've got other sources I get them from too. So I've got relationships with some of the big RV dealerships that sell me their trade-ins. Um, I mean, guys, you know, that kind of, those kind of relationships take many, many years to maintain. And, um, plus the fact that we're not like other RV dealerships. We own everything we sell. We pay everything cash. We have no floor plans. That's why a lot of dealers can't buy inventory because they don't have the cash flow because they have floor plans where they actually finance their units on the lot at banks pay a stupid amount of interest which is that cost is passed along to the customer and if you want to know if a uh, the dealership you're looking at if they actually own their rvs or they're just actually paying interest to the bank that they're passing along that cost to you ask to see the title oh the title's not here it's at the bank guess that means they owe money on it yeah i see the title here guys we may have to blot out the uh, previous owner's information but we've got it here in the house we don't sell anything without title in house which drives my salespeople crazy because a lot of times we'll take a trade in that has a payoff and we'll store it back in the bullpen which is a fenced in lot and lock it up until the title hits the office then we'll bring it up here and put it out for sale now it drives our salespeople crazy when inventory gets low to do that but i'm not going to sell anything that i don't own and um, we have the title in stock in house to this one and many others. And uh, guys, this something again, guys. I know this is just I'm going on a rant, but I think this is information that every shopper needs to know when going to a dealership about the fees, about the floor plan cost. Because when a dealer is paying three or four or five thousand dollars interest on a floor plan. That cost gets directly passed to the person buying the RV in the form of a higher price. Because higher overhead means a higher sales price. It's common sense. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, any questions, comments, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Stay tuned to my channel. I got more videos coming. Um, I've got another diesel I'm going to try to shoot later today if I get time. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you here at beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.